Hello there. Are you seeking solutions and answers in your world, in your life, from outside of you? For the longest time, I went through this journey. Back in 2013, I discovered some stuff behind the veil of illusion that shocked me about this world. And thereby I started the awakening process. I started to see some of the narratives and stories that on the surface I'd believed my entire life. But now I looked deeper and saw that they were crumbling as I sought truth. And this led me on a very scary path for a while where I discovered new information that changed the very core of my belief system, who I was in this world, who I had been deceived to think that I was and therefore how I fit in, question everything. And I'm sure some of you can fully relate to this process of awakening. Now, I'm not talking about spiritually here. I'm talking about awakening from the core programming of the body-mind complex in the three-dimensional world, awakening to questioning some of the rules of the system that we've been brought up in, to look behind the curtain, to pull up the corner of the rug and discover what was underneath, needed to be looked at and questioned so that I was no longer operating unconsciously in this experience. Now that led me on a wonderful road of discovery and truth-seeking. I explored many different belief systems and I questioned many different filters of perception that I held, held had held on to for so long. And then, of course, I got to this point where probably in the last two years where everything kind of came to a head. Suddenly the world was going through a similar experience questioning things, questioning narratives, looking behind the veil of illusion and really finding out stuff that was a bit shocking that brought a lot of people to their knees, the kind of truth and revelations that came out. Now, this video is for those who recognise that this is not where we stop in the journey. There are many of us still seeking answers in the outside world through questioning the systems of the structure of our society and our reality. But they've stuck there. They've stuck themselves in a rut and they continue to seek answers within the three-dimensional world so that they can make sense of things, so that they can continue holding on to the idea of an identity as a human, continue to hold on to a role, roles that are played. You might move from someone who was unconscious in a rat race nine to five job that was extremely unfulfilling and depressing into a position of truth seeker. I am a warrior for, for truth. I am a fighter of truth. So that's just a simply a new role, a new identity. You've taken off the old costume and hat and you've simply replaced it with a new costume and hat. Now, I've done a video about this before, but we limit ourselves when we continue to attach ourselves to three-dimensional identities, self-image. We simply stay within a limiting boundary system that is created by the very roles 
and the boundaries of that criteria of what that role means to you. It's personal too. It's a personal perception. So when you hold on to a new role, it doesn't matter what it is, if it has boundaries to define its criteria, then you can be sure you are going to be limiting yourself in some way and you're going to be providing more blind spots in new ways in your life simply by putting a new costume and a new hat on. So this video is to help you to question the limits that you've put in place in your life. Now, I believe it's time we move on from all external distractions. I'm talking about narratives. I'm talking about roles that you believe you have to play. I'm talking about systems. I'm talking about rules. It doesn't matter what paradigm they come from. They're still rules confined in systems. Now, our true being, and you know this deep down, our true being is limitless. It is not defined inside this simulation. It cannot be captured within a label or a role. So if you're someone who feels stuck in a rut, are you still distracted by trying to find how you fit in this current world that is changing? It doesn't matter what your beliefs are about how positively or um, negatively the current world system is shifting. What does matter is are you putting yourself back into a limiting position as you reposition your understanding and change your beliefs? I believe that the new way of being where we transcend the current paradigms that have kept us stuck in our subconscious programming, in our automaton programming, I believe we need to move out of all identity and self-image and associated agendas. I've talked about this before. So you cannot have both. You cannot be free, completely sovereign, meaning that you have complete willpower over programs which are identities and agendas when you are within the boundaries of an identity and agenda. You cannot be truly sovereign while you're labelling yourself and seeking to find yourself in the external world. And I'm talking about not just disempowering programs. I, I've said this before, but I'm also talking about any kind of program. They will limit you. So are you missing out on the beauty of the grace of flow as a multidimensional being in a human body? You may very well be if you're still holding on to identity and trying to attach a meaning to who you are in the human form. We limit ourselves with meaning. Meaning requires def definition. Meaning requires us to organise our information in our monkey mind to create the meaning. The truth is our true essence is unconditional. What does that mean? Unconditional means there are no conditions. No conditions. That means that you cannot have a labelling system, an identity, a role you play. They require conditions to satisfy the criteria of the boundaries of those roles and that agenda. So we are the pure essence of love. There are no conditions. So when you really grasp this understanding and decide to let go of seeking answers in the external world, in the, in the simulation, in the program, when you let that go, stop distracting yourself with stories and narratives that make you feel secure, okay? We're just appealing to programs when you're looking for security. You do not need security when you know who you truly are. Pure, loving awareness. No security required. 
So let's create a unique experience for you. And this means letting go. What does surrender really mean? We all throw that word around all the time, especially in the spiritual communities. Surrender means letting go of all conditions, all labels, all roles you play and all agenda, meaning all expectations and all attachments to how you place yourself in the three-dimensional experience. So if you want true flow, the absolute most beautiful experience in this human body that you have a chance to live through, if you want true flow, then you have to let go completely. So during your meditation or your prayers or just your spiritual practice, constantly letting go completely of your identity and any security you use to keep for reasons of holding on to that identity, the security that you gain from that, recognising this is all delusional. You do not need security. It's a program. And I say this from personal experience. I'm having suffered through anxiety for most of my life. Anxiety is a fear of the future. It's full insecurity. A fear of the future is where we think that we have to have an identity or self-image and an agenda to feel secure. We have to have mapped out exactly how tomorrow will look for us to feel calm and at peace. We never do get there. It's all an illusion. Tomorrow never comes, right? So anxiety can only hold if you believe that you are a role you play or you have an agenda here. So true surrender to allow yourself to experience the most beautiful life is fully letting go of all conditions you've put on yourself and all these grasping for some sort of security in this unknown future that, that never will come. So you will know when you have truly surrendered in your life. It's a process. It takes practice. In neurolinguistic programming, we say the, the neural pathways that need to be created to create a new habit on average take 21 days, but 66 days is probably more the average for the majority of us. So this just means every day practicing, surrendering who you think you are and the role you're supposed to be playing and trying to find security in the external world through stories and narratives of how you fit in. Constantly reminding yourself to let that all go, move down into your heart and allow the divine to intervene and guide you through a beautiful timeline experience for you here. Now, it takes time to continue to practice, to create the new habit of doing this so that it becomes the way you live, the way of life for you. Now, in my own life, I've been practicing this and it's getting easier. So I want to reassure you, it gets easier. It, we're all on this journey together and I'm sure some of you have noticed there seems to be easier lately to get into our heart space. I've certainly noticed this. I've shared this with friends. Total agreement. It's getting easier for us to move into the heart space. Whenever we find ourselves back up in the monkey mind, it's easier to drop back down again. It's becoming more of a nice flow. And so keep practicing. There's a tipping point that's being reached where it just is becoming graceful and easy and effortless to move into our true space, who we really are, the courage to stay in the heart, pure loving awareness in flow, total surrender to all agenda and narratives, recognising we are none of those things and they do not dictate our experience. And this is what I really want to share with you is 
It's time to stop allowing anything external, any external force to dictate your human experience. Do you want to have a wonderful, unique time while you're a human, no matter what the era? Then do this, total surrender, truly letting go of identity. Heaven on earth is possible now. It has nothing to do with what you're reading and what you're looking into in your research. Nothing to do with that. If you want to experience it now, you can. You're not waiting on anything. Stop waiting. It's a distraction, a delusion. All is unfolding in this now moment. What do you choose? I hope this has been inspirational. Stay in your heart space. It's worth it. It gets easier. Have a beautiful day. See ya.